If you were to have listened to people talking about San Antonio's history, you would have thought that when the Spanish arrived that they were greeted by mariachis. And so we have an obligation to right that wrong. You know, I'm, I, I'm an American Indian, right? My, you know, I stand on the shoulders of, you know, my father and my grandmothers and grandfathers before me and the work that they've done historically for this city. The Area Foundation, you know, was critical in, in making um, this a reality for us, not just for our organization, but for the San Antonio American Indian community. We are absolutely delighted to be in the home, the new home of the American Indians of Texas at the Spanish Colonial Missions, the first urban Indian center in San Antonio. We've been funding uh, some of the programs, some of the incredible work that they've been doing around healing, uh, around really providing leadership development services to young people, working with some of our elders, the ability to really provide a home for all of that work, a place that the um, community, that the elders of this particular organization could call a space of their own, truly was an opportunity, not for AIT, but for the Area Foundation. We have 30 plus Native American artists that we support through our small business development work. And um, now we're able to you know, provide them a pathway to, 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 to gain exposure for their artwork. Uh, I think one of the most exciting things about this center is how it aligns with the fact that uh, Mr. Santigos was a real estate guru. And, you know, oftentimes we don't always associate nonprofits with owning their own real estate. Um, and this is pretty unique that. Uh, this organization, who's been around for almost 30 years, now owns uh, not just a center that can do programming and welcome community members in, into it, um, but it's at the heart of San Antonio. It's elevated us to a whole different uh, playing field. I mean, we now have, uh, we have now joined the ranks of others who have assets. We never had assets. Um, our assets were computers and desks that were donated. You know, I think about what the a home, owning a home does for a family, for you know, really changing them out of one particular situation and creating economic mobility through that asset. And we use that same idea for the nonprofit. I think about what's possible in the future. I can see you know, people coming to San Antonio to visit the Alamo, what might have originally drawn them here. And then as the center continues to grow, you have people coming here to understand a, a different part, um, a unique part of our history, and how that, this asset allows for more people to be exposed to that.